when we were discussing sound in her class, Vera used to show us this very funny trick, which I am going to demonstrate you right now. The pencil trick was her way of demonstrating that the positioning of hands, the topic which people discuss a lot in the musical schools, the positioning does not really matter that much as people inclined to think about this and as people inclined to invest as much time to uh, became a partisan of one system or another system. What really matters for her is how you transmit through your hands your intentions, through the sound. Vera was very well known, and was very famous uh, for being one of the most outstanding performer of Chopin music. My first Chopin lesson happened when I brought an opus of Chopin mazurkas. Let me demonstrate you this one. So with this example, I did like to show you what Vera thought about playing soft music. Especially, it was very important for her. And when playing piano, and the very Italian word piano, one of the meaning is level. So one of the ideas was to sort of impose this level because if uh, soft music, if uh, piano does not speak, then when we have pianissimo or triple piano, it really becomes uh, basically non-distinguishable for our ears. And uh, we have to be very cautious. My lesson with playing Chopin was that even playing piano, even playing a soft and so-called beautiful, does not mean that it has just to be sort of uh, saturated in uh, you know, some pedal clouds or something like that. The piano had to be always very well articulated. Another very useful example was for me uh, learning dry Klaverstücke of uh, Schubert. And uh, I want to, to demonstrate to you this very, very soft and quiet beat from the second piece.
the particular interest of this excerpt is definitely how you manipulate with your right pedal. What Vera showed me and what was an absolute discovery at that time, that she did not lift completely up the right pedal while playing this episode. Of course, she did at uh, uh, changing of harmonies when you definitely have to do it. But most of the time, she kept the right pedal pressed uh, at the level between of half pedal and let's say three quarter. This was very particular, especially because she settled, you know, very, very soft level and most of this beat we play very, very quiet and very soothing. It's also interesting that knowing that we have pianissimo in this episode, only playing together with this very special uh, use of pedal, I am allowed to play as soft as it is written in the score. I remember that lesson with Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto Number no. 1. In the famous introduction, uh, solo is place. Those chords, they seem to be so easy to perform. Um, so clear to understand, and yet there is some sort of hidden difficulty which Vera always pointed to her students. When I came for the first time, I played very forceful, and she immediately told me that um, at the concert hall, this would not sound as I was expected. And in connection with this, she always mentioned that uh, the way you play forte is no less important than the way you play piano. And sometimes you even have to be even more vigilant about the use of your hands as compared to playing soft music. When we work on the first cadenza from the first movement, it was also very important on one hand to keep the level of forte and never to go beyond it. And at the same time, it was important to keep the structure of the piece because what most of performance they tend to do is this. changes the rhythmical structure of the piece because uh, the first movement is written in 3-4 and all of a sudden we change it into 4-4 four, four deliberately. And Vera was very strict about keeping it in 3-4 for the whole time. Even so, the second way of playing, I just showed is more demanding, is technically more demanding. Uh, Vera preferred uh, this one because it would keep the uh, framework of the piece. It would keep the idea flowing and uh, expanding, evolving in time as it was intended by Tchaikovsky. <laughs> 